Well, the initial interest down there was for a couple of reasons. One, the gold medals uh, issued some initial photographs of some core that uh, was based on uh, an anomaly that had been identified or targets that had been identified by Steve Walsh. And as you well know, we have a tremendous amount of confidence in Steve's uh, geophysical, geophysical acumen. And consequently, we felt that uh, if the, the, uh, the holes ran anything like what the photographs indicated, that it might be an, interested, uh, an interesting uh, idea to go forward with respect to uh, picking up any ground down there that uh, had this a north or south site type of uh, mineralization. Consequently, we was able to identify one. Uh, we've gone in and staked it. We've now gone in and flown it. Uh, there is road access because there are a couple of power dams that are on the north side of the, uh, or the, the north uh, east uh, end of the uh, property. It's got a fairly long strike length. There've been, there's been at least one fairly extensive anomaly that uh, has been identified uh, to about an 800 plus meter uh, target and would need to be followed up by groundwork, uh, likely in the spring after the snow's out of there. Well, it's an area that uh, that has, has not seen much exploration in the past. Uh, and, and, you know, where where the Noble property is, there's been virtually no, no exploration. Um, we flew the airborne survey uh in in steve balch's words we we found exactly what we were looking for and exactly the place where it should be uh so uh, um that's uh it's uh we're, we're looking forward to getting crews in there in in the uh, springtime to uh to ground truth that anomaly uh from the satellite photo it appears there's outcrop there so uh um I, I, i'm fairly confident that it it should be something related to, to uh, significant mineralization.